Hey guys, so we just got finished up riding some client horses and I wanted to bring you guys a quick video talking about the horse, the owner, and the trainer relationship. All right, it's kind of a trifecta. And when we ride horses for the public or whether you are the client has a horse in training, it's really important to have a healthy relationship between you and your horse as the owner and you and your trainer and vice versa between we want a healthy relationship between the trainer and the horse and the trainer and the owner and it's it's this trifecta because a lot of times i know as a, a trainer we get some interesting requests from uh clients sometimes when like oh you know i've had my left leg's really stiff can you ride my horse with the stiff leg that was one of the first ones i ever heard when i went to work for somebody else and you know along the way i've kind of learned that we certainly as professionals and as horsemen and horsewomen we want to make sure that we do as much as we can to prepare the horse for that owner all right we, whether that's a particular discipline or whatever the case may be we want to make sure that horse is set for success but then a lot of times we often have to find like here in our program we highly incentivize and we're selective in the horses that we take into training because we need to make sure our clients are dedicated to then being involved in the training process once the horse is ready because it is a true relationship between the horse and the trainer and so and that takes communication that takes time and ultimately if you're sending and paying for your horse to be in training you're paying for that trainer to spend time with your horse to be able to accomplish certain things right if you want a jumping horse a dressage horse a reining horse a ranch horse a trail riding horse whatever you want right your, your trainer's spending time with that horse to be able to accomplish those certain things that you want to be able to take into account but you have to remember that the time that's spent is building a relationship and so we've had instances in our own barn where you know owners or even and my wife has worked with me you know and we hand one horse off the other and it's not transferable that relationship is not something that you can just package up and hand over a horse can be really well educated but it takes consistency so we've incorporated ways with our training program that we have working students or i'll have my wife try to get on a horse before it's ready to go home you know we'll, we'll try different things um, not for them to put a training ride on the horse but for them to actually for a horse just to learn how to be uh, have how to behave and how to understand that the rules are consistent from person to person to person right so when you send a horse to us i train it but we also do as much as we can to make sure that those rules apply all across the board which means letting other people handle those horses and as an owner you have to realize that you don't need if you're not involved in that process if you're not one of those people that are coming and visiting your horse and working with your horse when your trainer says hey this is going to be a good thing for you and your horses to start working together if you're not putting that time in you have to realize that it's not going to be exactly how it is for your trainer because your trainer knows that horse they know how they move they know when things feel right when things don't feel right they can tell when they're having a good day versus a bad day they understand you know what what works for each horse no horse is the same right just like no person is the same so as the owner i'd encourage you guys to be to have your expectations set on how much time can you invest with your horse are you going to be thoroughly involved in that you know some trainers don't want you involved in their training process for me personally i'd reconsider who i was sending my horses to if i couldn't be involved in that of course you know like you're hiring them for to, for the professional side of things so they're there to advance your horse along but then at the end of the day if you're going to go show your horse or if you're going to take your horse home you need to understand how they operate you need to get to know that horse a little bit more and you need to understand how your trainers train your horse but this trifecta of the horse to human the the horse to the owner the horse and the trainer and the trainer and the owner and vice versa it's a bit of a trifecta that we have to have a good handle on and we all have to have reasonable expectations based on who's willing how much time is the trainer being paid to put into your horse how much time is the owner investing in the horse while it's in training and you know how much time does that horse need because of who it's it who who the horse is as an individual and maybe what it's kind of going through and throughout training because they all need a certain they all need their own amount of time and we all have to take all those into consideration so whether you're the owner whether you're professional in this and if a horse is listening to this that'd be kind of creative but if you're the horse if you're the owner or if you're the trainer you know be sure that you're you've got a healthy relationship back and forth you know i'm not catering this to just the professionals or just the owners i think we all have to work together to get this trifecta just right
and it all takes a lot of investment of time on each other's parts to make it work. So just a little tidbit that we've got that we've learned from experience on training horses for the public, working with clients, helping other professionals that are running their own training businesses, and then wondering like, how do I get this to work out? I've got this horse in this situation, but I don't have a client that's willing to be involved or I have a client that wants to be overly involved, you know, all those things. And as a trainer or as a owner too, you have to realize you have to look at it from both sides of the fence, right? Your trainer needs time to be able to get the job done to get enough done we always tell people like hey I, I highly encourage my clients to be involved but let us get a jump start with the horse let me get to know your horse let me understand let me get a few things working so that way when you come to work with your horse I can help coach you through it because I know your horse you know if it's the first week and you're like all right I want to see you open circles on it and I want to see changes the heart the person doesn't hardly know the horse yet you know unless the horse already has those buttons and you're just changing performance horse to a different trainer like they still need time to get to know each other and you need to spend time getting to know your horse so guys enough of that a little bit of a rant but I hope you found it helpful when you're looking for a trainer or if you're a professional going through your client list deciding on which horses you're going to take in the training you know not every horse and trainer are the right match not every owner and trainer are the right match and vice versa right so we always have to make sure that fit is across the board so anyway guys Colton was a Colton's horsemanship here another little quick tip on the the dynamic relationship that it takes to bring horses along in today's environment in today's discipline disciplines and all that good stuff. If you guys found it insightful and helpful, be sure to tag your friends down in the comments below. Let us know what you think. What has worked for you with your clients? What has worked for you as a client with a certain different professionals? Have you sent horses to different people and had different experiences? What did you like? What did you not like? Tell us down in the comments below. Give us a rating, you know, and be able to share and like, follow, and share us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all those good things. You know, we always appreciate you guys being along for the journey. So Colton Woods here. Y'all take care.